Gustav Sternberg sends it up, was looking for Rourke, batted around through a couple of bucks, and it's going to be a turnover into the hands of Sioux City. Ben Duran feed in front, big stop on the shot by Deck Hut by Max Lundgren. Steered back out into the neutral zone by Sioux City. Battle here in front of the Musketeers bench. Pulled back by Kupko, picked off and brought up the ice by Ryan Conmey, shoots and scores, and Sioux City jumps on top right away here, one nothing. Five minutes and three seconds into the game. His commitment to play at Brown. Well, congrats to both of those guys. Kosis feet across in front, it's Rourke, gets the short shot there on Mangbo, knocks the side, stays live down below the goal line. Pierre looking for Godbout, poked aside that broken up there by Chase Ramsey. Ramsey, the Quinnipiac commit out of Granite Springs, New York. Jack Varwerk towards the net, easy feed to Braden Rourke, who gets his second career USHL goal, back-to-back -back games for Rourke. And he ties this thing up 1-1 one, one, once again. Back-to-back -back games on the weekend. Braden Rourke, 1-1 one, one for the Bucks. Chipped around, Sternberg back out to DeShane. 10 seconds left. On the power play, one-time shot from Sternberg, covered as it's wrestled to the ground by Mangbo. Musketeers skate in, send one off the post, and then a bouncing puck rebounded and stayed out wide to the left. Conmey back out to the blue line, comes across to Godbout. Conmey, right circle. Thought about a shot, went down below the goal line instead to Duran. Conmey up top, one-time shot by Ty Hansen. God bout to Deckut. Now to Conmey. And Hansen at the blue line. God bout, left circle, sends one down low. A feed across. Duran to Conmey and a goal. Power play goal for the Musketeers. Back out to the blue line. Sent through traffic by Sternberg. Varwerk pulls it in again. Dangles past a man towards the net. Doesn't quite tuck it past the skate of Mangbo, but what moves there from Varwerk? The puck didn't find its way to the back of the net. Back out into the neutral zone. Chipped in. Scholl looking for Strand and batted in. Uh, with a high stick, that is no goal. Called right on the ice, no goal. The official scoring on the first goals I can share with you, but we get our official ruling here, no goal. Played with the high stick. Kessler, a Vermont commit along with his fellow centerman, Max Strand. Muskie shoving towards the net, Godbound with. Now Bevilacqua takes this away. Chipped out into the neutral zone. Muskie's trying to flip it back in. Varwerk there, keeps a stick on it, fights through traffic, pulls back, fires a shot, and Mangbo gets there with the glove. Still a battle along the wall as Sigurdsson stays after this puck. Now Van Royen here on the near side. Sigurdsson to Kupko, fires a quick shot, and it's knocked away by Mangbo. Connor Buick gets a stick on it, and Ian Lundgren turned this aside. Deccan across to Poitras. They thought it was in, and the puck stays out and live. Musketeers have it tied up. Comes out to Varwerk. And then Kosis. Banks off the wall looking for Rourke. He'll pull it back. Feet across to Kosis. Shot stopped by Mangbo. Think he caught it with the shoulder. Back out to Shahan in the neutral zone for the Musketeers. They bring it in. Looking to tuck it past Lundgren. He pokes it aside. And the rebound was there for the taking. And the 
Bucks clear it out with Kosis. Poitras up top to Fitzgerald, across to Smith on the right side. His shot blocked by Daniel Ostapovich. Oh, excuse me, it's Joey Muldowney up the ice, puts the puck on Mangbo, but he makes the stop. Smith to Pierre, right side, back up to Smith, over for Brown, little tap, and a shot from the slot by Caden Shahan goes out of play. Michael Bevilacqua. Christian Kosis and Braden Ford on the ice for the Bucks. Pierre up top to Smith. Across sets up the one-time look from Brown, and it's stopped by Lundgren. Wheels around. Back out to the blue line, and Bevilacqua gets a stick on it. And he'll knock it there to Kosis. Kosis and Muldowney going two on one, racing up to catch them as Pierre. Shot fired by Kosis. Stays loose and finds the back of the net. The Buccaneers tie it up with... 5.59 to play here in period three. Braden Ford puts one home. It's a 2-2 game with just under six to play. Des Moines Buccaneers goal. Braden Ford from Christian Kosis. That's a keeper, the first for Braden Ford. One skirts out of the zone. Kosis with a stick on it there, and Batchelder as well. Nearly able to take this away, but Sioux City gets it back. Godmount shoots, and it catches a piece of the post and stays out. Hanson to Deckhut. Bevilacqua pokes it away. Able to kick it ahead to Varwerk. He's going to come in one on those. Shoots and can't backhand it past Mangbo. Sigurdsson towards the net, and the feed from Sternberg can't put it home. Battle in front, Kupko gets a stick on it, Sigurdsson with the shot, comes back out, Sternberg lines it up in the slot, shot goes off the post and stays out. Axel Mangbo on the left, first shooter here for the Buccaneers is Jack Varwerk. Varwerk skates in, flips, cannot get the backhand away, and Mangbo able to shrug that aside. First shooter for the Musketeers is Winnipeg Jets draft pick defender Garrett Brown. Picks the puck up, comes across blue line into the right circle towards Lundgren, pulls back, shoots and scores. Oh no, off the, off the post. So Lundgren gets a little help from the eye and there's Talon Sigurdsson will come out, second shooter here for the Buccaneers, and Mangbo with the glove makes the save. Second shooter for the Musketeers is Ben Duran. Duran across the blue line, into the right circle, skates in, pulls back and easily tucks it past Lundgren as he pulled him all the way out to the left side and then stayed to the right. Your third shooter here for the Buccaneers and they'll need a goal to keep it alive. It will be once again Joey Muldowney skates in on Mango, pulls back, shoots, and he can't get it done. That'll do it. Musketeers win in the shootout. And get a three-game sweep of the weekend. The Bucks suffer the shootout loss after coming back to tie it in fourth overtime.